The protests over the police shooting of a black man in Kenosha, Wisconsin, turned deadly. Gunshots rang out during a third straight night of violence. Now, a warning, some of the images you're about to see may be disturbing to some of you. People ran for cover as a number of shots were fired during a third night of protesting over the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Two people were killed. A third person was injured. Police say an investigation into the shooting is ongoing. Now, Blake's family attorney says the 29-year-old man, who was shot seven times by police on Sunday in front of his three kids, is paralyzed and may never walk again. They're calling for the officer who opened fire to be arrested. The clashes last night came after an emotional news conference by Jacob Blake's parents. They issued a call for justice in their son's shooting and an end to the violence that's rocking the city. They shot my son seven times, seven times. Like he didn't matter, but my son matters. He's a human being, and he matters. Do Jacob justice on this level and examine your hearts. From Milwaukee, I'm joined now by WTMJ radio host John Mercure. John, good morning and welcome to our program. So what happened last night? Two people were killed. One was seriously hurt. Have police found the person behind this? Marcia, good morning. Police are still looking for that person. And I can tell you here in Milwaukee, down the road a ways in Kenosha, it's very tense. There's a very uncertain, nervous energy here today as police continue to look for the individual that they believe did this shooting. You kind of laid it out pretty well. So last night, it gets to be close to midnight. Fires are once again burning in Kenosha. Chaos is reigning in the streets. And we believe, according to officials, that a group of militia-style individuals were guarding property. There was a confrontation with protesters. Shots rang out. One individual shot in the head, one in the chest. They did not make it. They were actually carried across the street to the hospital, which was right in the neighborhood. Another shot in the arm. And officials and residents looking for answers this morning. So what are authorities saying? Um, where do things go tonight? Will more protests take place on the streets? Well, that's the big question. There have been three nights of protests. It appears that that will be the case. There will be more protests. There were 500 armed police personnel on the ground last night. A group of supervisors, which are those that govern the county in which Kenosha resides in, are now calling for 1,500 more. They want 1,500 uh, authority police officers with police powers and arms to come to Kenosha. Fences have been erected. We don't know what's going to happen tonight, but it is very, very tense. There's a very nervous energy here. What's the latest on Jacob Blake's condition? Uh, Jacob Blake is uh, expected to survive, almost miraculously, according to some, but he is likely to be paralyzed. Uh, he lost part of his liver, part of his kidney. His spinal cord was severed. He was shot at least seven times, and he's expected to recover. He is speaking, but unlikely to ever walk again, according to his family. And, John, what about the police officer who shot him? Of course, the reason why there's protests on the street, people want that officer to be arrested. Marcia, the latest on the officer is that he is a member of the force. He has not been fired. He has not been arrested. There were three officers you could see in the video. One, we believe, did all the shooting. They are still members of the Kenosha Police Department. Leaders there saying there needs to be due process. There will be discipline. Interestingly enough, not just Wisconsin authorities, but the Department of Justice in the United States and the FBI are now involved in the outside investigation that will eventually decide what happens to the officers that were involved. John, we really appreciate you being with us and painting the picture of what's going on there. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, WTMJ radio host John Mercure. We'll talk to you again.